pit bull. The term pit bull is a generic term used to describe dogs with similar physical characteristics. Usually a pit bull is considered one of several breeds including the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, Bull Terrier, or any mix thereof. In some parts of the world, the American Bulldog and Dogo Argentino are also classified as a pit bull type dog, despite major genetic differences. Any dog that is mixed with a bully breed may also be called a pit bull including those that are descended from the English Bulldog, French Bulldog. Boston Terrier and Cane Corso. The Pit Bull is not a distinct breed which may make it difficult for experts to identify, and while mixed breed dogs are often labeled a Pit Bull if they have certain physical characteristics such as a square-shaped head or bulky body type, visual identification of mixed breed dogs is not recommended by the scholarly community. History All Pit Bulls were created with similar cross-breeding between Bulldogs and Terriers, but each individual pit bull breed has a distinct history. Pit Bull Terrier The Pit Bull Terrier was created by breeding Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs together to produce a dog that combined the gameness of the Terrier with the strength and athleticism of the Bulldog. These dogs were bred in England, and arrived in the United States where they became the direct ancestors of the American Pit Bull Terrier. In the United Kingdom pit bulls were used in blood sports such as bull baiting, bear baiting and cock fighting. These blood sports were officially eliminated in 1835 as Britain began to introduce animal welfare laws. Since dog fights were cheaper to organize and far easier to conceal from the law than bull or bear baits, blood sport proponents turned to pitting their dogs against each other instead. Dog fighting was used as both a blood sport, often involving gambling, and a way to continue to test the quality of their stock. For decades afterwards, dog fighting clandestinely took place in small areas of Britain and America. In the early 20th century, pit bulls were used as catch dogs in America for semi wild cattle and hogs, to hunt and drive livestock, and as family companions. Some have been selectively bred for their fighting prowess. Pit bull terriers successfully fill the role of companion dogs and police dogs, and therapy dog. Pit bull terriers also constitute the majority of dogs used for illegal dog fighting in the America. In addition, law enforcement organizations report these dogs are used for other nefarious purposes, such as guarding illegal narcotics operations, use against police, and as attack dogs. In an effort to come to the fighting reputation of pit bull type dogs, in 1996 the San Francisco Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals renamed Pit Bull Terriers to St. Francis Terriers, so that people might be more likely to adopt them. Sixty temperament screen dogs were adopted until the program was halted, after several of the newly adopted Pit Bulls killed cats. The New York City Center for Animal Care and Control tried a similar approach in 2004, relabeling their Pit Bulls as New Yorkies but dropped the idea in the face of overwhelming public opposition. Staffordshire Bull Terrier The Staffordshire Bull Terrier had its beginnings in the early 19th century by breeding bulldogs, mastiffs, and terriers together. The resulting offspring were originally known as the Bull and Terrier Dog, the Pit Dog, and the Pit Bull Terrier. The early bull terriers of the Elizabethan era were often used for bull baiting and with a weight of between 100 pounds, 45 kilograms, and 120 pounds, 54 kilograms, was significantly larger than the modern bull terrier. These dogs imported to America from England as early as 1870, where they were known as the pit dog, pit bull terrier, and later American bull terrier or Yankee terrier. They were imported primarily, but not exclusively, for pit fighting. The dog was officially recognized by the The Kennel Club of the United Kingdom as the Staffordshire Bull Terrier in 1935. Not long after, in 1936, they were recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC, as Staffordshire Terriers. Breeders started creating exemplars heavier in weight. Since January 1, 1972, the breed was renamed American Staffordshire Terrier to describe it as a separate breed from the lighter Staffordshire Bull Terrier of England. Attacks on humans Studies 
a nine-year, 1979-88, review of fatal dog attacks in the United States determined that, of the 101 attacks in which breed was recorded, pit bulls were implicated in 42 of those attacks, 42 percent. A 1991 study found that 94 percent of attacks on children by pit bulls were unprovoked, compared to 43 percent for other breeds. A five-year, 1989-94, review of fatal dog attacks in the U.S. determined that pit bulls and pit bull mixed breeds were implicated in 24, 29 percent of the 84 deaths in which breed was recorded. A 20-year, 1979-1998, study by the American Veterinary Medical Association into fatal dog attacks on humans concluded that fatal attacks on humans appear to be a breed-specific problem, pit bull-type dogs and rottweilers, and that pit bull-type dogs and rottweilers were involved in more than half, 67% of all the 238 recorded dog bite-related fatalities, DBRF, in the United States during that period, with pit bulls accounting for 66 deaths. They also wrote that a 15-year, 1991-2005, review of dog attack fatalities investigated by the Kentucky Medical Examiner determined that pit bulls were implicated in five of the 11 fatal attacks, 45%. Another 15-year, 1994-2009, review of patients admitted to a level I trauma center with dog bites determined that pit bulls were most often involved in these attacks. Of the 228 patients treated, the breed of dog was recorded in 82 attacks, and of these, 29, 35% of the attacks were by pit bulls. In 45% of the attacks, the dog belonged to the victim's family. A five-year, 2001 May, review of dog attack victims admitted to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia determined that pit bull terriers were implicated in more than half of the bites where breed was identified. Of the 269 patients where breed was identified, 137, 51% were attacked by pit bulls. The authors wrote. A review of the medical literature found that pit bulls and pit bull crossbreeds were involved in 42 to 45 percent of dog attacks. Fatalities were most often reported when children were attacked, with 70 percent of victims being under the age of 10. Some other studies on the number of human deaths caused by dog bite trauma have surveyed news media stories for reports of dog bite related fatalities. This methodology is subject to potential errors. As some fatal attacks may not have been reported, a study might not find all relevant news reports, and the dog breed might be misidentified. Courts in the United States and Canada have ruled that expert identification, when using published breed standards, is sufficient for the enforcement of breed-specific legislation. Other studies A study by Regaven in Canada which showed that breed-specific legislation limits the number of pit bulls, and where sled dogs and free-roaming packs of dogs is more common than in the United States, an electronic search of newspaper articles found that pit bull terriers were responsible for 1, 4 percent of 28 dog bite-related fatalities reported in Canada from 1990 to 2007. The study also noted that, in a project called the Calgary Model, Legislation addressing bad owners instead of breeds has been the focus. After implementation, which included finning the owner $350 minus $1,500 in dog bite cases, there was a 25-year low in the incidence of such cases. Several studies determined that pit bull owners, and owners of other vicious, or high-risk breeds, most commonly identified as Akita, Chow Chow, Doberman Pinscher, Rottweiler, and Wolf Mix are more likely to have criminal convictions and are more likely to display antisocial behaviors. A 2006 study compared owners of high-risk dogs to owners of low-risk dogs. High-risk dogs included vicious dogs by breed, for example, pit bulls, or vicious actions, for example, any dog that had bitten, attacked, or killed a person or other animal. The study determined that high-risk dog owners had nearly 10 times as many criminal convictions than did low-risk dog owners. A 2009 study and a follow-up 2012 study generally supported these findings. Locking Jaws Myth 
A popular myth is that pit bulls have locking jaws. There is no physiological locking mechanism in the jaw muscle and bone structure of pit bulls or other dogs. Pit bull type dogs, like other terriers, hunting and bull baiting breeds, can exhibit a bite, hold, and shake behavior and at times refuse to release. Pit bulls also have wide skulls, well developed muscles, and strong jaws. Methods to force pit bull type dogs to release their grip include breaking an ammonia ampule and holding it up to the dog's nose or using a brake stick to lever the dog's jaws open if it is biting a person or animal. Socialization A pit bull's genetic makeup was developed so it would be a good fighting dog. However, this genetic disposition does not mean that all pit bulls are aggressive or that they are prone to attacking other animals. Pit bulls require the same amount of socialization training as other dogs during puppyhood, possibly more. Like any dog, a pit bull that is well socialized is less likely to attack when it feels threatened. The pit bull breed is known to be more rough and tumble during playtime, but frequent socialization with other dogs can mean that a pit bull pet goes into adulthood with a positive feeling towards other dogs. Legislation Widely reported pit bull attacks have resulted in the enactment of breed specific legislation in several jurisdictions. The attacks have also led to increased premiums for liability insurance. Many of the jurisdictions that restrict pit bulls apply their restriction to a. the modern American Pit Bull Terrier, b. American Staffordshire Terrier, c. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and d. any other dog that has the substantial physical characteristics and appearance of those breeds. Such jurisdictions include Ontario, Canada, Miami, Florida, U.S., Denver, Colorado, U.S., and Malden, Massachusetts, U.S. However a few jurisdictions, such as Singapore and Franklin County, Ohio, U.S., also classify the modern American Bulldog as a pit bull type dog. In the United Kingdom, a pit bull is an American Pit Bull Terrier. All of the breeds share a similar history, with origins rooted from the Bulldog and a variety of Terriers except for the Johnson line of American Bulldog, as opposed to the more pure Scott line, which come from the Bulldog and a variety of Mastiffs. The dogs called Bull Terriers before the development of the modern Bull Terrier in the early 20th century may also be called Pit Bulls. Approximately 550 jurisdictions have enacted breed-specific legislation BSL, in response to a number of well-publicized incidents involving Pit Bull-type dogs and some government organizations such as the U.S. Army and Marine Corps have taken administrative action as well. These actions range from outright bans on the possession of pit bull type dogs, to restrictions and conditions on pit bull ownership. They often establish a legal presumption that a pit bull type dog is prima facie a legally dangerous, or vicious dog. In response, 16 states in the U.S. prohibited or restricted the ability of municipal governments within those states to enact BSL, though these restrictions do not affect military installations located within the states. It is now generally settled in Castle law that jurisdictions in the U.S. and Canada have the right to enact breed-specific legislation. Despite these holdings by the courts, there is some public skepticism over whether the laws are effective. One point of view is that pit bulls are a public safety issue that merits actions such as banning ownership, mandatory spay neuter for all pit bulls, mandatory microchip implants and liability insurance, or prohibiting people convicted of a felony from owning pit bulls. Another point of view is that comprehensive dog bite legislation, coupled with better consumer education and legally mandating responsible pet keeping practices, is a better solution to the problem of dangerous pit bulls than BSL. A third point of view is that breed-specific legislation should not ban breeds entirely, but should instead strictly regulate the conditions under which specific breeds could be owned. For example, forbidding certain classes of individuals from owning them, specifying public areas from which they would be prohibited, and establishing conditions, such as requiring a dog to wear a muzzle, for taking specific breeds of dogs into public places. Finally, some governments, such as in Australia, have forbidden the import of specific breeds, 
and are requiring the spay-neuter of all existing dogs of these breeds in an attempt to eliminate the breed's population slowly through natural attrition. The ASPCA said that along with putative over-reporting, false reporting was a major contributor to public perceptions about the breed. In England and Wales the Dangerous Dogs Act prohibits the ownership of Pit Bull Terrier along with three other breeds. The Act also bans the breeding, sale and exchange of these dogs. In the Canadian province of Ontario, a Pit Bull ban was enacted in 2005, making it illegal to breed or import Pit Bull Terriers, including the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, American Pit Bull Terrier, or any breed with substantially similar physical characteristics. Commercial Restrictions Liability Insurance Dog owners in the United States can be held legally liable for injuries inflicted or caused by their dogs. In general, owners are considered liable if they were unreasonably careless in handling or restraining the dog, or if they knew beforehand that the dog had a tendency to cause injury, for example, bite. However, dog owners are automatically considered liable if local laws hold an owner strictly liable for all damage caused by their dog regardless of carelessness or foreknowledge of a dog's tendencies. Homeowners and renters insurance policies typically provide liability coverage from US$100,000 to US$300,000 for injuries inflicted by dogs. However, some insurance companies limit their exposure to dog bite liability claims by putting restrictions on dog owners that they insure. These restrictions include refusing to cover dog bites under the insurance policy increasing insurance rates for homeowners with specific breeds, requiring owners of specific breeds to take special training or have their dogs pass the American Kennel Club Canine Good Citizen Test, requiring owners to restrict their dogs with muzzles, chains, or enclosures, and refusing to write policies for homeowners or renters who have specific breeds of dogs. Owners of rental properties may also be held liable if they knew an aggressive dog was living on their property and they did nothing to ensure the safety of other tenants at the property. As a result, many rental properties forbid pit bull type dogs and any other breeds if the rental property's insurance will not cover damage inflicted by that type of dog. The dog breeds most often targeted by insurance companies include pit bull type dogs, Rottweilers, German Shepherd dogs, Doberman Pinschers, Akitas, Akita Inu and American Akita, and Chows. In 2013, Farmers Insurance notified policyholders in California that it will no longer cover bites by pit bulls, Rottweilers and wolf hybrids. A spokeswoman for Farmers said those breeds account for more than a quarter of the agency's dog bite claims. Air Carrier Restrictions Several air carriers embargo certain dog breeds due to the effect of high temperature and humidity on brachycephalic animals, or concerns for the safety of airline property, personnel, and passengers. The following table has a sampling of air carrier embargoes on dogs. United Airlines formally embargoed American pit bull terriers for safety reasons. However, pit bulls, along with American Staffordshires and other similar breeds, are now permitted provided that dogs over six months old or weighing more than 20 pounds, 9 kilograms, are transported in reinforced crates. Notable Pit Bulls Pit Bull breeds have become famous for their roles as soldiers, police dogs, search and rescue dogs, actors, television personalities, seeing eye dogs, and celebrity pets. Historically, the Bull Terrier Mix Nipper and the American Staffordshire Terrier Pete the Pup from The Little Rascals are the most well-known. Lesser known, but still historically notable pit bulls include Billy Holiday's companion Mr. Helen Keller's dog Sir Thomas, Buster Brown's dog Tig, Horatio Jackson's dog Bud, President Theodore Roosevelt's pit bull terrier Pete, Jack Brutus, who served for Company K, the first Connecticut volunteer infantry during the Civil War, Sergeant Stubby who served for the 102nd Infantry, 26th, Yankee, division during World War I, and Sir Walter Scott's Wasp. Modernly significant pit bulls are, Wheeler, who helped save 32 people, 29 dogs, 3 horses, and 1 cat. 
Popsicle, a five-month-old puppy originally found nearly dead in a freezer, who grew to become one of the nation's most important police dogs. Norton, who was placed in the Purina Animal Hall of Fame after he rescued his owner from a severe reaction to a spider bite. Titan, who rescued his owner's wife, who would have died from an aneurysm, D-Boy, who took three bullets to save his family from an intruder with a gun, and Lily, who lost a leg after being struck by a freight train while pulling her unconscious owner from the train tracks.